Oh, he's down to one. Oh, he's down to one. Oh, gosh, that was close. Come on, extraction point. Come on, extraction point. No, Tiago is down. We just lost it all. Darn. What is up, my pylons? That's right, it's me, Gamer Pile, and I am here with a brand new cut all of that. Darn. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am back with another episode of my Crying Sons first look. That's right, this time it's for real. We're actually in the final chapter. It says it right down here. See that? Uh, silencio. We just finished Memories of None last time. Oh, boy. If you did not watch that episode, you need to go back and you need to watch them. It actually took us four episodes to get through three sectors because we caught up with the Emperor in the, in the previous episode. And golly, was that insane. Just saying. You'll have to go back and check it, check it yourself if you want to. So we start a new run every single time we have a new chapter. So I, don't, I guess that means we have a new Duncan. Does he know the same stuff that we used to know? Uh, I don't know. Your do mind download is complete, Admiral. Ready to try again? Uh, we don't need to do that because you can always go back and you can watch it again if you want. Let's continue on, machine. We have work to do. I don't think I need to remind you, Admiral, but our Neo-N is quickly running out. I know. I know. That's why it's really important that we do this. So we are trying to spade the, the Excelsior class. We're going to just stick with that. But this is the new one that we got. Pirate tech. Oh, fancy. Uh, could have up to five squadrons. We get to have... Oh, no. I guess it's just four. Uh, three weapons. Only two hull structures. That's crazy. Um, what is it, then, that this is all about? Why is this so much better? I really have no idea. Uh, we're going to stick with the Excelsior because that's what we've been doing. And that's what I want to do. All right. This is our complement. A, a bunch of Mark 1s one of which is patched, a pierce laser, a piercer laser. We don't have any, any of our advanced guys done. Oh, that is really unfortunate. So we're gonna have to actually slum it and pick people who are just regular, regular old officers. I get to choose two though. So I have to play quite a number of new, um, of new missions before I'll have any of these guys left. Okay. Let's see, we've got a hull and a fighter and a weapon that all have different skills. Um, let's see, what do we got? Regent all allied squadrons in your deploy zone for 10 seconds. Okay, so you have to bring it over. Uh, Guerrilla tactics, patch squadrons, short range DPS, plus 35% against non-patch units, and then weapon reload time. I think we're gonna, st we're gonna stick with a weapon reload time. And, um, oh, see, that's such an, that's a really good one though. I like that one too, but he has a, crossover skills the fighting one i think we're going to come down oh air uh sharp senses is always a really important one but so is erudition diplomacy or persuasion i guess i guess we'll go to i guess we'll go with the proximity repair all right so there we go let's start it up oh wow low resource rewards and harder enemies oh that's crazy i think we'll try that some other time this is not that time so listen, I have my drink in my hand, I have my handy dandy notebook, but most importantly, I have you. So thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. And I want to really quickly, oh, pardon me, really quickly go ahead and give a couple of shout outs because we have some brand new pylons and I want to say hello to them and thank them and welcome them aboard. The Bearded Nerd is one of them. EA Kid is another. Witty the Sweetie is, in, is in a new pylon. Brandon Looney Tunes Fan 2000, Barker Gaming, and Edgar's Neelands. Thank you so much. Or maybe it's Nylands. Not really sure. You correct me. Tell me in the comments. Uh, love it. Love you all and thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. Shall we get started? I am, I am incredibly eager. I've been waiting all week to record this because I am really excited to see what happens next. Let's go. The Terminus Cluster. It's here Oberon hid the invisible folder for the Master Node Terminal. In arguably the busiest cluster in the Empire? He thought it was the last place anyone would look for it. Remind me again how we're supposed to see something that we, you know, can't. I don't know, Lieutenant. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so we are in the Terminus Cluster, and here I have a little prediction, and this is, I'm really worried about this. 
our wife Rebecca saw that we saw us executed and she was put into like a cryostasis. I'm a little bit afraid she's going to hate us and not not even believe that it's us at all. I start off with 80 scrap. That's it. Dang. All right, where are we going then, folks? We only have five Neo N to start, so I don't want to do something that's got all the fives. See, three and five, two and three. Why don't we take this path through Alganubi uh, Majoris? Or Majoris. Majoris. I don't know. How would you say that in Latin? Does J get an I sound, right? They don't have J in the Latin alphabet, do they? At least I don't think they have one in the Italian alphabet. Sir, a civilian ship. A civilian ship in the Terminus? It's a wonder it still exists. Everything is new here. Don't attack. We're just a minor house of limited resource. Yali Tsui. You can relax, Captain. We're not going to attack. Not going to attack? Are you sure? That's what ships around here do, which is why I stay hidden most of the time. Let's go. Here we got... We've oh, Look at this. We've already got our flavor text early on. This is perfect. Let's get all of our lore out of the way so that we can learn what the heck is going on here. What can you tell me about the Terminus? You act like you just got here or something. This is where the best, fiercest ships of all houses and influences came for their yearly Omni-chip quota. These were violent clusters before the shutdown. But when the folders stopped working, trapping us here, our ships full of chips, these clusters became a ticking time bomb. When fuel and food became low, all that was needed was a spark. I don't know who fired the first shot, but someone did, and it set off a deadly chain reaction. Now it's every ship for itself out here. No brothers, no alliances. Here I once even witnessed two Imperial ships go at it. Can you imagine? Somehow, I think we can. Do you have any more questions before I go back into hiding? You come from a minor house, you say. Which one is it? The Honorable Sandar. Maybe you've heard of it? I'm sorry, but I can't say that I have. It's fine. We don't really have much of a reputation. We had a low Omni quota. My home... How I want nothing more than to return and see my wife and children. But times have been tough. I've been wondering if we ought to just find a planet with poison trees and, you know. Be strong, Captain. There is hope yet in all this darkness. I don't know if you mean it, but thank you for saying that. Um, yeah, let's do this. Oh, he's going to ask me for neo -N. Perhaps we can help you and the people of your ship? I won't lie. Any fuel you can spare would be greatly appreciated. I found that pride of any sort will in the turn will get you killed in the terminus. Yeah, why not? Maybe I don't think he's gonna help us later. But we do the right thing in, th in this run. In this run, we're the good guys only, and we try. Then take this. We have more than enough for the moment. You are generous, Admiral. If you'll accept them, some of our young fighters can join your forces. Oh, that's actually good. Maybe they'll have a better life with you. Okay, so I got two, and it ended up being a dead trade. It cost twenty cr scrap for Neo N cube or Neo N thing, a Neo N fuel stick rod thing uh and it, it costs 10 each for soldiers so that's good all right let's find out it's gonna be rebecca who rules this chaotic cluster anyone as far as i know it's something of a revolving door but there are a few ships you'll want to avoid ships practically caked in the blood of their victims but in this sector you'll especially want to avoid the pirate max he takes his defeated alive then eats them they trapped us once in an asteroid belt. I think had we been in a bigger ship, we'd have been killed, but they let us go, but not without a price. And what was that? Could be hard to tell in this transmission, but a limb from everyone on our ship. Jeez. Wait, so didn't I just ask this? And the other sectors? Who's in charge there? I couldn't tell you, Admiral. If you wish to know that, you'll have to see for yourself. Do you have any more questions before I go back into hiding? Now nah, we're good. All right. So now we know that this is going to be a bloody, violent campaign, and we're going to do our best to try and win it and subjugate it under our thumb. Cannibal pirates or not, we're here to find the node. All right, let's find the node. Let's find that node, boy. All right, we only got the one neo and That's unfortunate. And our hull... Oh, wait, we had hull and ships, right? I don't know if she's weapons. Reload time, that's right. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and take a look here. There is a mercenary outpost. I don't know how much we're actually going to be able to afford from it because we only have the 80 scrap, but maybe we'll win some right now. We got company, sir. Scrappers. Just when you thought you'd destroyed all the ships you possibly could, another beauty enters your world. Thank you, Cradge. <laughs> you call me beautiful. <laughs> all right, let's see. We've got a single fighter. 
Mark one with really low health. No weapons at all. So we're gonna throw in uh, our, oh, nope, our frigate and our fighter. Fighter can go right there, frigate can go right here. And that should be, the frigate should be able to deal with this guy. Bring you here. If you're gonna come around that way, we'll bring the fighters over along this direction. Let's go here. And you come destroy some things. Now you can come on over. Okay, easy enough. I guess I should just go straight for the hull here, and you can take out the squadrons. It doesn't even have a whole lot of a uh, whole lot of things here. A whole lot of hull points. 69 scrap out of it. That's good. That gives us 100, almost 150 now. Once we get to the shop. All right. What have we got here? H beam does damage. No effect on the battleship. No effect on the battleship. This one's not bad, but I don't want to spend 100 on that. I might have to buy that Neo N. Let's just take a look here. What do we have? Uh, we don't have anyone who can do uh, ships right now. Squadron speed plus 10 when visible, plus 35% when in stealth mode. You are reset the cooldown of the weapon with the least loading time remaining. Charge, only charge when an allied squadron is present. Okay. And then that's the same one we have, but with, oh, but with the, the sneaky skill. What's the, oh, that sneaky skill. Knocked by a hull critical effect. Critical effect repair speed plus a thousand percent. Fancy. All right, I guess we'll go. Oh, I got to check. Hold on. What do we have here? Top two and the bottom corners. Top le two left in the bottom corners. Oh, so this one would actually be a good idea. I think we're going to go ahead and buy Bob Kumar. Higher. And then, all right, we have 15 now. And we can throw Bobby O right over in here. Gives us a little speed boost. That's kind of important, actually. And, all right, cool. We only have 24 left. 24 scrap left. Not enough to do anything big here. I do want to get this fuel scavenging equip or efficiency as quickly as I can. But for now, let's move on to push on to the next star system. We're going to go here to Delta Pegasus instead of Akiat. Akiat. Sir, I'm picking up a weak distress transmission from that escape pod. What do we got here? If you're getting this, I need help. My pod engines, pod's engine has conked out. And now I'm on a high velocity collision with the ship eater. Get me in touch with that pod, Lieutenant. You, you received my transmission. Yes, and we're going to try to help you, but I have to ask, what do you mean by ship eater? It's a powerful gravitational singularity not far from here. Ship eater is just how it's known informally, you know, because it swallowed many ships. I was assisting a group of Omnis studying it. I think they were interested in harvesting its energy. Anyway, when they collapsed, I nearly went crazy living on my own for so long, but somehow managed to survive at our research station. Until my food ran out, that is. That's when I jumped in the escape pod with its old engine. I was in here for about a day when the engine failed me, and, well, you know the rest. I really hope you can help me avoid this gravitational singularity. All right, let's find out. How can we help you? In short, get me off this pod. A skilled pilot, if they use their thrusters precisely, could stabilize the rescue long pod long enough to pull me out without getting pulled into the gravitational field. Sir, if we could enhance our short-range tractor beam, it could be enough to pull the pod away from the singularity and towards our ship. Thanks, Lieutenant Bigelow. But it'll require using some scrap. Oh, I don't even have any. Uh, we're going to use a specialist, I guess. Can I count on you to get close enough to that pod to extract the passenger? Absolutely, sir. I've trained for missions like this countless times in our simulators. Mostly with success. Get it done, Lieutenant. We're counting on you. Eh? Not sure I would have used the same approach angle, to be honest. But your pilot pulled it off. I can't thank you enough for saving me. I'm pretty skilled in my domain. If you'll have me, I'd gladly join your ship. Okay, cool. We got Tiago Dev. Now, is that a special one? Let's check him out. No, not a special one. And it's actually the same. Um, it's the same as the one I'm just... Oh, no, no. They have sharp senses. Sharp senses. As opposed to the to the I forget what that other one's called with the little cloaky thing, distinguishy, indistinguishably, something like that. 
All right, with no major threats here. Been an auto factory. Doesn't look like anybody's going to have a whole lot of success. 51 to 81, lose 0 to 7, lose 3 and 9, 51 to 81. But we could, Alex could get damaged. <laughs> that's very much not what we want. But I think that's going to be our best bet. Yeah, this is a bummer, dude. All right, let's go. Cross your fingers. <laughs> this is rough. <laughs> well, that was close. <laughs> uh, you can see we did lose four soldiers. But more, more importantly, though, we did not lose Alex. It came really close, though. To get 116 scrap out of it, did not get whatever was in the abandoned auto factory, unfortunately. But that's all right. Um, that's not a bad trade at all. We made a net of 76 scrap, if you want to look at it that way. We are max fuel efficiency now, and I think that's going to do it for here for us. So let's keep going. All right. Uh, mercenary outpost. Oh, that's right. There's a mercenary outpost. I wanted to go there to see what they wanted to sell to me. Scrappers in a Kosh minefield, sir. So it looks like you got the best of it, too. Anyway, your birds can scrap that ship, Captain. In those mines, it's risky. Could damage our birds pretty good. You feel like rolling the dice, sir? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Minefield or not, we need that scrap. Form a team and get it, Captain. Of course, sir. I'm tired of studying fight footage anyway. <laughs> That's not a bad approach to it. Way to think about it. A way to wrap your mind around potential damage. Oh, hey, look at it. No, no incident. Sweet. We got 64 scrap out of that. Hey, not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right, let's visit this shop. Oh, the plasma nuke. And so this one's a kind of a fun one here. Can't move through the cells. We're going to have to buy we're gonna have to buy some commandos. I guess we'll hold off on that too long. We have... Okay. I don't think we need any of them. I might get another... I might might try this. I, I've had some pretty good success with using this in the past. But that's a lot to spend on, on a gun. And I don't even have a spot for it. So... It's eight seconds, though. I have used that with some, some major success in the past. And maybe we'll try to do this. And then we'll try and... We'll do this. I need more. I definitely need more commandos. And I'm not going to buy a Neo N because we're maxed out and we're about to go to a new star system anyways. So let's do that. And eventually I'll get another weapon dock for 70. That shouldn't take too long. And then I'll be able to use both of them. Perfect. All right, let's go to Kaidon. Kaidon, Kaidon, Kaidon. Probably not Kaidon. Kaidon. Almost sounds Japanese almost, right? Civilian sh ship, sir. 12 o'clock. I almost said sure. Civilian, sure. Prisoner captain. An imperial ship. Who knew we'd ever be happy to see the likes of you? We're a group of prisoners who've escaped our prison station by building a crude junk ship. Prisoners of the Empire? Captain, you're lucky I haven't started firing. Yeah, we're lucky to be flying around on a homemade ship, a bunch of convicts in a post-apocalyptic galaxy. You have no idea how lucky we are. Look, we don't want any trouble, Admiral. We know we could never beat you with our junk ship. We just want to help you and your crew. We know of a scrap of weapon around here that's unguarded. We'll tell you where it is on one condition. You give us Neo N, and when the Empire is returned to its former glory, you pardon us for our crime. Okay, two conditions. I'm an Imperial Admiral, Captain, not an Imperial Judge. Okay, but you can at least put in a good word for us. So what's it gonna be? I only have two, I can't give him one. Ask the prisoners about their crimes. We're innocent, all of us. Everyone here is innocent, all of us. Sorry, dude. Sorry, Captain, but we need to hold on to our Neo N at the moment. Too bad, Admiral. I really wanted to do business with you. Guess we'll just have to find an Accu or a cost ship, won't we? <clears throat> End of transmission, sir. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't shoot you out of the sky or rearrest you. So you should take consider yourself flipping lucky, dude. Jeez. There is absolutely. There's absolutely no respect anymore. No respect. Is there a church battleship hiding that asteroid field? Does it see us, Hawks? I don't believe so, sir. In those rocks, its visibility must be slim to none. Ah, boo. I don't have a demolitions person. Um. Yeah, let's try that. See what happens. Maybe that opens something up. Is it possible to attack? We could, though, in an environment like this, we could sustain heavy, heavy damage doing so. There is... Another idea. I'm listening. If we have a specialist officer skilled in demolition, we could blow some of those asteroids into their battleship. 
probably won't destroy it, but it could clip its wings a little. Then we can move in and finish the job. What do you want to do about that battleship? I guess we're going to continue on. I don't want to take the 50-50. We've only got three hull structures here. So let's move on not worry about it. Save it for another day and go ahead down here and check out this planet. This planty. All right. So this one, it's 0 and 9, but we're going to get almost all of everything. This one, 11 and 41%. Yikes, man. Yeah, I think we're going to go with it. Tiago. Tiago, don't fail me now. Oh, this is going to be a bloodbath. I'm feeling a little a little less conservative on our ground missions this time, apparently. Here we go. Sharp senses. Got some scrappy. Danger, discretion. Don't have it. Skadoosh, 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 skadoosh. Everyone's skadooshing. That was a lot of skadooshing. Holy shnikes. Okay. <laughs> I'm like wincing over here. It's just going to get worse. Tiago is down to halfway. We've only done uh, one, two, three, four. This is the fifth. Uh, that was the fifth one. We're probably only halfway through. All right. We're just going to keep doing it. Tiago is going to be hurt or dead or worse. The good news is they're an extra right now. Ooh. Oh, he's down to one. Oh, he's down to one. Oh, gosh, that was close. Come on, extraction point. Come on, extraction point. No, Tiago is down. We just lost it all. Darn. I forget what weekend means. Oh, it's he starts at three health. Oh, gosh. Well, that didn't go very well. That didn't go very well at all. <laughs> uh, ooh, there's an Omni Forge here. Holy cow, already? That's crazy. Well, why don't we go there then? Come on, big money. Big money on this. What is this superstructure? Incoming transmission. Please, Admiral, you have to help us. These these monsters have lo lost us, locked us away in here. Who? What monsters? Scrappers, Admiral. They kidnapped us and brought us here. I think to make their little scrapper babies. Ew. Run along, little Imperial. Nothing going on here but wholesome family fun. <laughs> Looks like a scrapper baby maker station, Admiral. Uh, I think we've done those before. I'm gonna go ahead and use the four. Of course, sir. We're gonna we're gonna go and rescue him. We're gonna try and rescue him, anyways. See what happens. The mission was a success, sir. Oh, thank goodness. They were in a terrible state. Only scrapper scum could have done this. And the scrappers, dead as can be, sir. My men and women are scraping their brains from our boots as we speak. Got some other good news for you. We found a little Neo N here too. Oh, that's really good. If I've got this, uh, this Omni Forge, I don't think these scum are gonna miss it. Incoming transmission. Thank you, Admiral. Because of you and your crew, we're free once again. There will be nightmares, I'm sure, but we won't forget what you've done here today. All right, we got two Neo N out of that. Sweet. And now we've got this thing. And very good. So we got three out of that. Fantastic. Let's go to the Omni Forge. We'll see if we have another uh, anomaly or something like that pop up. We got R&D for you. Oh, R&D. A little time on here. I made a... Built a... Uh-oh. Don't you think you should have asked for permission first? He built a weapon out of some of my scrap. I don't even have the, the scrap. Sorry. I appreciate the effort, team, but we need all the scrap we have right now. You'll have to break it apart. Not a problem, sir. I mean, it's not like we stayed up all night putting the finishing touches on it or anything. RNG is so sensitive. <laughs> All right, let's visit that Omni Forge. Omni Forge. I have enough that I can literally upgrade all of them, and I think I'm just going to do that. So we've got all Mark IIs now. That's not bad, actually. That really isn't. And then hopefully in the next sector, we'll be able to heal our, uh, our officer. Officer down. And this is good going into this next battle, I would think. Because that's it for here. And now we're going into the terminal terminus. Star Sector. A little play on words for you there. See, I got it all. I got the devilishly good looks, the sharp wit. <laughs> Looks like Hax's ship, sir. Hello, Admiral. Perhaps you've heard of me. Hax, the pirate who eats his vanquished? Yes, we've heard of you. 
Ah, I see. And I can see you're shaking from fear. I love fear. It makes me feel so hungry. Have you gone mad? Why are you eating your fellow man and woman? And children, Admiral. Let's not forget them. Because desperate times call for desperate measures. Food isn't exactly bountiful around here. That's nasty. So you make do with what you have. Lucky for me, I've never been a picky eater. You like questions? You a want to ask me how I like my meat cooked while you're at it? Turn around, Hax. Your eyes are bigger than your stomach. Sorry, but threats don't really work on me, Admiral. Once you take your first bite into human flesh, fear sort of disappears. <laughs> oh, let's go then, boy. Yeah, I'm done with you, son. All right, so he's got one fighter, so I'm going to throw it out. I'm just going to keep out what I have here. It's a Mark I. He does have a Piercer Mark II, which I'll have to keep an eye on. But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'll throw you guys here. And in 18 seconds, you're mine. I'm going to send these ones down this way. Oh, he's got some he's got some stuff over here. What's this all? All non-capturable neutral unit, your, uh, <laughs> units. <laughs> units, for example, turrets, are considered as allied. Okay, well, that's good that that didn't happen here. That's crazy. And, oh, he, he's got the asteroid field hollow mapper. I like that one a lot. This one is... Oh, that's the pirate tech. I probably would have had this if I'd started with that at the beginning of this game. We would have had all these things. More chance to start a fight on an advantageous battleground. Capturing speed times two. Max officer plus one. Max commando and expedition is only eight, though. Can deploy fewer squadrons during a fight, but compensated by reinforcements waves over time. Each wave being weaker than the previous one. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about that one, too. So we've got to come up here. Okay. Yeah, there you go. We're going to go ahead and have you fire on the weapons. All right. Come on down. After the squadrons, we got just enough time. We're building some heat up on his weapon system, too, which is great. Oh, perfect. Let's see if we can build up some heat here now, yeah? There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, this should be a piece of cake. It really should. One second until he's going to pop out one of these bad boys. But I should be pretty much done with it by then. All right. Ooh, 573 scrap. Now, that's a spicy meatball. Shazam! Definitely got that one. Oh, no flavor text. I guess that's it. So that was a really fast sector. Holy cow. We breezed right through that. I know we, we chose some star systems that had fewer nodes and points of interest than the other ones. But I got to tell you, that was actually not that bad. We're going to go ahead and heal him and repair the drone. And we're going to have to buy some commandos. But I really want to upgrade uh, an additional weapons dock. And I'd love to get a squadron dock. And that's going to give us the dark matter thing. We'll throw in a drone right there. And now let's see what the shop has left for 150 or, or less. Oh, that's right. Nothing because... Oh, one Neo N though. Going to have to buy a couple of those. We'll start with that. And then we'll go up to 18 commandos. Okay, 76 trombones left, and that's going to do it for us. Wow, we really breezed through that one. I feel like this episode was particularly short, but I um, guess time flies when you're having fun. Hey, don't forget to check us out next week. Sec same time, same channel, bat thing. I was going for that old Batman routine from the 60s, and it definitely it definitely just completely fell on, on its face. And by it, I mean me figuratively speaking hey if you haven't yet go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe button ding that bell leave a comment these things help me out so much and i really appreciate it i love that you were here today i hope you enjoyed the video tell me what you thought about it how can i improve what am i doing that you like i would love to get better because ultimately i'm here for you you are the reason i'm doing this i'm not doing it for me um i could just be playing you know in my pajamas instead the, the game's all the time not have to talk with the english and the wording and stuff and and i i don't i do it for you so thank you hey also while you're here check out the videos you see on your screen there is something there for everybody and you never know what you're gonna get until it's gone they pave paradise and put up a pile on as always my pylons last but not least stay safe and be well